Hey, this is Artistic Pink Cat. I'm also known as Grizzle Dog and She King. I'm here to share with you my moving jaw technique that I've been trying to develop for this particular mask. I saw an excellent tutorial um, from a fursuit maker that was building her own mask, and she made them entirely out of coat hanger wire. But I, I'm foam, so I wanted to apply her coat hanger wire moving jaw technique to the foam mask. So this that was part of the challenge these past few months of getting it to do right. Um, I have coat hanger wire is the lower jaw. And um, I've glued the coat hanger wire. I put foam around it and glued it to the mask uh, under the foam because that gives it a broader surface area to work better when my jaw does move. I've secured it with elastic as well to pull pull that mask back into my lower jaw because there's a bar under my lip that catches that jaw. And when I move my jaw, it pushes down on the mask jaw. There's also elastic pulling up on the cheeks of the mask. And um, because there's elastic everywhere, um, <laughs> I keep my eyes are practically down in the mask. So when I move my jaw, it pulls it pulls my it pulls the mask about, and my eyes end up getting wedged inside the mask. So I'll have to fix that. But that's otherwise the moving jaw technique that I've been trying to develop, and I'm still perfecting it to make sure it doesn't create any hassle like it is right now. As you can see me keep adjusting the mask, but um, the eyebrows are a little uneven. I'm gonna buff up. I'm gonna fix that, but that's only because of the elastic that's there. I'm going to round off the face. I'm going to put more uh, foam down to round off the face because this is a greater bush baby mask. Uh, this is this is the official Bush Baby, the last mask I've dubbed as a kangaroo now. There were too many negative comments and stuff on it looking like a Bush Baby. And the jaw is also a little bit uneven to your right, my left. But um, thanks for watching.